Hello. Um, yeah, I haven't done a vlog for about a million years, so I thought I'd vlog. I think all of my vlogs start like that, don't they? You saying me you announcing for a million years? Yeah. So anyway, Ancient hello. <laughs> yeah, basically. Old. So I don't know. I've just had other videos to film, which is fair enough, and I've got kind of like a backlog of videos to edit. But anyway, let's get into this vlog. I am just having a little day out. Jim here. This is like all you'll see of him this today. This is a cameo. This is all you'll see of Jim <laughs> today. Because I'm heading out with the camera, taking it with me on my little adventure. I need to go and get my car heater repaired because it is blowing cold air in my face and not hot air and the weather is freezing outside. So I've been sent, well, I got my tyres replaced a couple of days ago at a place in Bottle Witham and they have recommended me to go, not me, recommended me, recommended somebody for me to go to, to go and get my fan checked out because they're like just a tyre replacement centre rather than actually like fiddling with other things. Anyway, the moral of the story is that they are sending me down some country lane to a place that doesn't apparently look like a garage and I rang the guy up yesterday and he's basically a farm I'm going to I think. So it sounds a little bit odd. Sounds like the beginning of a horror movie. Yeah and you're leaving me go on my own to this? Why didn't you offer to come with me? Make sure I'm okay. See now you're making me look bad. <laughs> There are reasons as to why I'm not going. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go there and hope, hopefully come back with, with a fixed fan. Or at all. <clears throat> and yeah, so I'm going to take you with me. Set this up in my car, which I haven't done for a, an, a, another a million, million years. <laughs> a billion years, that one. Yeah. Jesus. Right, say goodbye, Jim. Goodbye. Tell them to enjoy the rest of the vlog without you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. I'm leaving you in the capable hands of Kat. Hopefully she won't fuck it up while I'm gone because we all know that I'm the real um, master of these videos. I'm tired. So I'm heading off with um, some directions to this garage. I asked for a postcode, but he said, oh no, that'll take you like somewhere else. So they're just kind of like giving me vague directions. And I'm not sure I'm very good with vague directions. So go past some shops, go along some bends. And then when the road starts to straighten out, there's some blue railings and then turn left and then go to a farm. Never come back. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I can't wait to get my heater repaired though. I really, really hope it's not going to cost much because obviously I've just had to have two new tyres replaced. I've got my MOT at the end of the month, so it's a little bit like if I don't do this, um, you know, it'll fail its MOT. Last year when I took my car for its MOT, it needed all four tyres replaced and some brake pads and something else to do with the brakes as well. They've worn down in a year, my two front tyres. Apparently it was something to do with the tracking being off, so I just need to pay a little bit more attention to maybe getting that checked out every now and again so I don't like, yeah, ruin my tyres. They kind of wore on the wrong, like all on one side rather than evenly. Oh, you learn these things as you go along with cars really. I don't really know much about cars, but um, yeah, as things go wrong you learn and then you learn about how to get them fixed and how to prevent things from happening. Hopefully these front tyres will last a little bit longer than a year this time. That would be very nice. Also need to get my insurance sorted. Now, little tip, I did hear from the Martin Lewis money saving expert guy that if you look for car insurance three weeks before your car insurance is due for new renewal that is when you'll find the cheapest quotes on the comparison sites so I've literally like penciled out my tire for next Sunday to just like sit down at the computer and research some prices and get some quotes and you know just sort my insurance out that day and last year I actually made the mistake of forgetting about it thinking that I had a few days left and then it auto renewed and like charged me like you know way more than what you can actually find if you do a bit of research and don't just let it auto renew so I learned my lesson from last year but I did manage to cancel that and then yeah sort another one out luckily you have like a 14 day period where you can cancel it which is phew because I did panic a bit so yeah I'm not just going to the car place today by the way just so you know other things will happen today I have to take a little trip to Asda to pick up some garlic bread because I've decided to make a pasta tonight which like we never have pasta I just decided to give it a go Jim's not that keen on pasta I like carbonara pastas but I don't know if I like it I like make it myself but we shall see now they've 
given me directions to go to this place from like the back roads but I'm probably taking the long way around just because it sounded easier than I don't know what he was trying to describe as on that other road. I might pop to the garden centre just for a little browse. I have like an urge to look at plants and put more plants in my house but if my car costs me though it's probably won't be allowed to go there will I? Probably should skip that if my car costs me a to. We'll see. No I want a plant today. I need to buy a plant. I just get these urges. My urge today is to buy a plant. kind of hilarious I found it in the end I did get lost at one point and had to ring him but then but then I found it lovely chat and lovely little like farm random place that just had a bunch of cars so it wasn't hard to find once I get that got there but anyway point is um just got straight into it opened my boot had a little look at a few things my bonnet not my, not my boot that would have been the pointless um yeah so opened my bonnet had a good look around did some stuff poured some water down something poured some antifreeze in something and charged me eight pound and it worked he was like when did you last check this um yeah i feel like a little bit of an idiot as i say you learn things as you go along with cars i should be checking things more often the radiator thingamajig needed more water in something and he's put some antifreeze in so it doesn't freeze up and now my car heater works and it's amazing um but i do feel like a little bit of an idiot freaking out and thinking my car needed fixing when it was just something needed topping up but he did say it, it may have been empty because i hadn't checked it for ages or it may be that there's been a leak or something and i was like hmm i do sometimes have a patch underneath there but i'm not 100 so he said basically come back next week and he'll just check whether whether it's still topped up or whether it has been leaking so yeah, I mean it might be something like that, but hopefully hopefully it's just that I haven't checked it in ages. So yeah, I've just pulled up at the garden centre. I'm gonna have a little browse now. Seeing as that only cost me eight pounds, maybe I can afford a couple of plants. Just a few plants to choose from. I love coming into this little section with fish tanks because this is literally really nostalgic because we used to come here when we were younger when we had um when we actually had fish tanks. Oh I love it, I'm just gonna have a little browse around here. The fish are so adorable. <laughs> I literally love them. I feel like I'm at the zoo. <laughs> Look how cute these are. They're seriously cute. How much are these? That one's free apparently. Um, I don't actually know how much these are. They're so cute. This one looks really Christmassy. Eight ninety nine. These look like pumpkins. What on earth are they? One of them. I just did something a little bit embarrassing. There's loads of um, furniture for sale. And then I started looking at these tables and wondering how much they were. But they are just tables for the cafe. Giraffe Witch Mammoth Tower. So, all the way to the garden centre. I know all the way. I was passing the garden centre anyway, to be honest, on the way home. But yeah, big prowess around the garden centre. Looked at all the plants. This is what I bought. Two pairs of gardening gloves. And I'm not planning on going outside to do any gardening anytime soon either. But they were 80p each, so I thought it was a bit of a bargain. So I bought two pairs of gardening gloves. Ah, oh, home sweet home. Oh, I'm actually really warm now. I've got this massive jump on and I'm actually boiling now. Have a nice cup of tea with me. All cosy. And what I'm going to do now is film a favourites video. A favourites video which you, by the time I put this up, will have already actually watched. So yeah, this is the end of um october favorites video always oh, stall takes me ages to realize what month it is right yeah end of october favorites video so yeah you will have already watched that if you haven't already watched it what are you doing you're watching my videos in the wrong order I accidentally bought some boots from um asda i thought these would be quite nice now i have some similar that i bought from new look a while ago which has lace up but they're not very comfortable and they feel quite I thought they were going to be good, but they feel high, like really high, whereas these, they look high-ish, but because they're so chunky, I actually walked around in them in Asda and thought, actually, these, they feel bearable for work. I just need something that 
looks smart and gives me a look because the thing is with wearing skirts for work in the winter it looks nice and it can look nice with low boots but sometimes you just need a little bit of height and I just don't wear heels so I just thought these might just give me that little bit of height just to make them look make me look a little bit smarter basically for work. I finished filming my little favourite video now so I'm going to put the memory card into my computer and do a little bit of editing see whether I can just edit it quickly. Usually little sit down videos don't take as long as long as I've not waffled on for too long and kind of messed up my words too much and have to like delete a million things I've said. Hopefully I haven't done that. I feel like it went okay but we shall see. I've also just been invited out by a couple of friends to Costa um, to go for a little hot chocolate and get all warm and cosy. Um, even though I got really warm and had to take my jumper off before filming because I was just like, I'm too hot. Um, yeah, I'll probably be cold when I go back out again though, so I'll put it back on. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. All wrapped up again now. I've actually got an absolute freezing again. <laughs> I've been sat down for a while doing some editing. Um, yeah, heading off to Costa now to meet a couple of friends. See whether I can get a little bit of footage, if they let me. I'm a little bit disappointed um, they have no cream. Arlena, hello. <laughs> Arlena works in a theatre, so she's giving us a grand tour. This is your stage, isn't it, Arlena? This is my stage. <laughs> this is my stage. Feels pretty weird because I've not been on a stage in ages. Um, yeah, after doing drama and theatre studies in uni and college as well. It's been a while. What can we break out into, girls? What do we remember from college? Just, uh, <laughs> from our show <laughs> in like 2007. Whoa, and it's still there. That's amazing. Mine is like the bar and everything else that's come down on it. Feels really cool. And what did you say? This place is haunted? Yeah. Uh oh. What it do is. I have to look out for on my camera? Floating things. You'll watch and... this back later. Really. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's actually terrifying. Bobby, that actually scared that me. Yeah. I've just got home now again, and I'm not leaving the house after now. I'm literally going to probably sign off the vlog here and thank you all for watching because I'm going to make myself a cup of tea, get all cozy, and paint my nails because they really need sorting out um, and then pack my lunch for tomorrow and things like that really just because I'll start work again tomorrow after having a few days off and I just need to have a good relax and get all warm so there's nothing really exciting to film anymore. Wait I must let you know I did find a plant today I had the surge to buy a plant didn't I so this is the plant that I found lovely grey pot beautiful plant it's cool day I'll just zoom in on what it's called because I've no idea so I bought it from Sainsbury's and it was only like £7 or something. I think it'll look pretty in my bathroom. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was a little bit random as all vlogs usually tend to be. Um, yeah, and let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me next. There is a decorating vlog going live eventually when I eventually edit it. 